Time for the cut of France, finding out a strong force. Hootie's a uh, pretty good jujitsu, uh, good on the ground, he's pretty experienced as well, so looking to keep it standing. Heaps of takedown defense, keeping it standing. Had a couple of more tie fights, so more confident in my stand up now. Uh, my name is Chad George. I fight out of the PKG Training Center in Los Angeles, California. Uh, my record's 12 and 6. Uh, I know he's a striker. Um, I watched one of his fights, uh, beat the kid by TKO in the first round. Looks like a real tough, kind of scrappy kid, and uh, I'm ready to show, show New Zealand what, what uh, well rounded MMA is. I've been training for about 12 weeks, and this, uh, this fight just kind of fell in perfect timing. And uh, the opportunity to come out to New Zealand and see the beautiful land here and uh, get in a fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be completely ferocious tonight. I'm gonna, my, my nickname is, is the Savage, and um, you know we're, we're gonna show why tonight, and it's gonna be exciting. Brutal stoppage by the first round. Kai, I hope you are training because I'm bringing hell tonight. Well, here we are, our final fight of the evening, the main event, Kai Cut of France. Five, one and zero against Chad George, a very experienced professional, 13, six and zero. Oh. These are the lightweights at 60 kilos. 29 years of age, Chad George, 179 centimeters, the height advantage. It's the 18 year old Kai Cut of France. Well, it's a big step up for the boy from Strike Force. You've got to ask yourself, it's another one of those mismatches a little bit here. Well, I guess it's a case of, uh, you know, once you, when, when you're in New Zealand, there's not too many guys to fight, so you have to take advantage yes. of, of these shots. And you never know, Andrew Mungie proved it tonight. You know, you, how, are you, how are you going to get experience if you don't have these fights? Well, look, you know? at, look at the savage. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, on, the, he's on the adrenaline pump, I tell you. Ooh, it's a good stare down from Savage. Yeah, Kai Cut of France, not buying into it. Savage looks like he's ready to tear a leg off and beat him up with it. <laughs> well, there goes the pit bull, the Savage. The American, immediately he's a southpaw, oh, and he's right on range straight away. He knows what he's doing from the outside. The Kaikoura of France was hoping to keep it standing. This American really looks compact. Nice doubling up of the, the right hand, the lead hand from the southpaw. Misses with the... Uh, Left nice. hand. He's got, he's got underhook. Underhook oh, no. straight up. Nice little leg rip, taking him down. Yeah, straight this, into half guard. There's some and style on here. Let's, uh, nice to see the little shoulder bump there. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Good bit of color work on the shoulders there. Oh, he's trying to get that leg free. Kai Cutter France quickly covering up. And, and again, he, he's not wasting any energy. No. He's just taking his time. He's looking to consolidate his position. He's having to look around to see how Kai is doing. Take yep. his leg out, step back, come back into side. Nice little side that control arm. there. Spin Bit of a beat down, spinning around, looking yep. for the guillotine. Yeah. Not the best position for guillotine, but going to no, roll he's him over. At, he's not looking at a guillotine. He's looking to wrap his legs up. Okay, now he, let's see if he pulls guard from this position. Kaikoura France defending the neck. Little, little, little left uppercut. Well. France leading with the right hand, but punished this kid from America. Chad, the savage George. He really has his range down pat standing up. It looks like he's here to do business. Uh, Definitely. Even, even physically, even though they're the same weight, he looks like the much bigger man, which would suggest probably a way in time he was 60. He's probably close to 64, 65 now. Now he's fully hydrated. Nice movement, nice and relaxed. You see the faking as well. Faking, faking, <laughs> looking to change levels. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Oh, oh, great. Uppercut. That is over. That a is flush the uppercut. It's just a matter of time, I imagine, before the ref steps in. No offense off the back. Now's the time to step in. Now's the time. Oh, it's just continuous. He's letting this go on a little bit longer. Yep. And Kai could have France. Well, there is no offer of resistance. Neil Swales let yeah. that go on. He gave him as much time as possible to answer. Yeah. There was nothing coming back, really. It was all over from a that uppercut. Boy. A game boy, but to be honest, just out of his depth. Oh, and that was a big left uppercut. Yeah. And then left hand after left hand. Oh, Boom. lovely. Class. Legs just collapsed yeah. under him. A nice, classy fighter. And this early in the fight, caught cold, forearms, left hand punches. That's his power hand, Neil Swales. Well, he would have taken 15 or 20 clean shots. A little bit long. 
a little bit long, but you know, like we said, you've got to get experience. From the blue corner, Ted Jones. Now, the pit bulls had his feed tonight, the Savage. Tore off a bit of Kiwi, Kaiko to France. He's a game boy from Strike Force. This will be a major learning experience for him. Welcome to New Zealand, mate. Uh, very well fought fight tonight, good victory. How did you feel about your performance? Uh, I felt it was good, you know. Uh, I wanted to show some ground and pound and show that uh, that's where it's at, you know. You get some wrestling, get some jiu-jitsu, get on top and unleash hell. And I wanted to show that tonight, and I think I did. Did you get to watch many of the fights this evening? You know what, I didn't get to watch any of them except maybe the first one, but this is an unbelievable show for Fakatani. I mean, we have shows every week in the States, and I gotta say, I wish it was like this in the States. This is unbelievable. Mate, we're glad to have you here, and you're welcome to come back anytime you want. Thank you. I love, I love New Zealand. This is such a beautiful place. Uh, thank you for the cage, Brad Cora, for bringing us out. This is such a good opportunity to bring cultures together. Uh, my gym, PKG, is a home gym for New Zealand, and uh, love to see this thing grow and grow and grow, and I'm glad to be a part of it. Cheers, brother. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys. Well, there we go, closing out a great night of fights at the War Memorial Hall in Fakatani. I'm Mike Engove. And I'm Chris Easley. And it's good night from him. And it's good night from him. <laughs>